Canada, you have so many questions about COVID-19, and every morning at this time, we are trying to get you the answers you need. Joining us again is infectious disease specialist, Dr. Isaac Bogosh. Good to have you with us. Good morning. I want to start with masks, because I know we've talked about this before, but there feels like there's conflicting information out there about wearing masks. Should we or should we not be wearing masks if we are in public and we are not sick? So short answer here is that, you know, there's, there's many people who have obviously very strong opinions of this. So if you feel like you want to wear a mask, okay, wear a mask. But if we, I, my concern is people might have a false sense of protection. Uh, and that's really the concern, is a false sense of protection. But if people want to wear them, please, by all means, whatever you're comfortable with. Here's the issue. Uh, people are wearing masks incorrectly. You often see them not, not just, there's a way to wear it. They don't wear it correctly. Uh, people are reusing single purpose masks. Uh, what people say, well, doctors wear masks all the time. Uh, but remember, we're not just wearing masks. When we're dealing, when we're truly face to face with a patient who might have an infection, we're also wearing eye protection, gloves, and a gown. So it's not just the mask. And again, people who are using masks are very frequently touching their face, readjusting the mask, fiddling with the mask, which completely negates any of the safety that the mask provides. So I think we have to be very careful about this. Uh, I'm uh, open to the idea that if people feel that it's going to help them, that's their opinion and that's fine. They're welcome to do what, what they want to do. But I'm just concerned that it may provide a false sense of protection. Uh, if a mask is unavailable, and I've, I've seen this out and about in grocery stores and other places, people using either a coat or a scarf or whatever they have to cover up their face, kind of making a homemade mask. Is that effective at all in protection? Uh, and you, you've see, I've seen a lot of this online as well, and I, I think we have to be very careful about that as well. I mean, I, it's, it's just unclear because the heterogeneity of what people are going to be putting on their face is going to be vast. And, and it's just not clear if this is going to provide any sense of protection. And the concern is that it provides a false sense of protection. Now, of course, masks are helpful if someone has the infection. It's very, they're very helpful in preventing, in, in, in limiting the spread of that infection. But if people are, if people have no symptoms and they're not infected, if they're not infected, we have to be careful about this providing a false sense of protection from getting this infection. Yeah, and there's a lot of confusion yesterday, of course, when the U.S. president asked everyone who's going out in public to be wearing a mask. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there has been a lot of dispute uh, about this next issue lately, and that is whether or not you can become immune to COVID-19. If you get it, uh, could you avoid a potential second wave, or, or do you have lifetime immunity? Uh, yeah, so the, we don't actually know for sure what the answer is, but it's very likely, and there's a growing consensus in the medical and scientific community, that after you've been infected with the virus, with COVID-19, you're likely to be immune to that infection, at least for the duration of this pandemic. And, you know, it's not quite clear to what extent are you immune, for how long are you immune, uh, but many believe that you will likely not get this infection again during, at least during the course of this pandemic. We know viruses change with time, uh, just like influenza, for example, changes with time and people can get reinfected with different strains of influenza. That may be the case with COVID-19, but these are unanswered questions. It's just likely that people would not get reinfected with this. Yeah, and as you always point out, we're still learning so much about this virus. as it Oh, yeah, absolutely. To affect the rest of the world, Dr. Bogosh, thanks so much. Anytime. And a reminder to our viewers, uh, if you have questions that you want answered, please send them to us on social media, and we will get to them as many as possible. Here's our addresses at Your Morning uh, or Your Morning CTV. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.